Hi there, and good morning. Good morning from the mountains. I'm up in the mountains for a few days here in Norway, and um, I'm out walking the dogs. I want to um, address an issue that I find very important. It's the dehumanizing of the people who uh, refuse to uh, undergo a certain medical procedure. I'm going to have to use code words here because we have to do that now here on social media. A medical procedure that involves a poke in the arm, poke in the shoulder, should I say. Um, now you know what I'm talking about. And, and um, the reasoning is that um, if you don't do that, you're killing people. Now, there's a lot I could say about that. Um, <laughs> the lack of logic in such a statement, and that's one thing. Um, but I, I will not go into the why it's such a stupid thing to say. But, uh, <clears throat> okay. I've said from the start that uh, this should be a choice. Uh, I'm not going to tell you do this or do that. Um, if you're an adult, uh, it should be up to you to decide. And no government and uh, nobody should um, try to decide what you're going to do with your own body. But. Uh, we are now seeing this dehumanizing and a lot of blame, well all the blame, is being put on people like me who uh, refuse to have that medical procedure. Now, have we seen something like that before? Yes, we have. A few decades ago, a lot of blame for a lot of things were put on a certain ethnic group <laughs> in, uh, in Europe. And um, today people will say, I would not have been one of those people nodding when the Again, code word, National Socialists, a uh, short for National Socialist. Um, when those said that, well, look at, um, well, I think I think you can say this word. Look at the Jews. They are, they are. They need to be. We need to get rid of those people because they're they are the reason why things are bad and so on. So uh, they were dehumanized. And lots of people in many countries were in agreement on that. And uh, even, more even more people, they either helped um, the, na the National Socialists uh, in, their, in what they call the final, solu final solution, or they just looked away. What we're seeing now is that people, they, they either think this is a good thing, it's right to de dehumanize people like me, uh, it's, that's, that's right, that's correct, we should do that, or people, they just look away. What's coming next is the violence. And I've said this before, and many others have uh, said it as well. Uh, it's not very difficult to predict that we will see violence. We will see the taking away of human rights from people like me. Or at least they will try. <laughs> yeah, they will try. And violence will be justified. At least, that's what people will think. Um, they will think they had it coming. 
and uh, if only they had been responsible and and taken the poke in the shoulder uh, they wouldn't have uh, gotten themselves into such a mess and now look at what happened to them they were just stupid and uh, they kind of deserved it and this violence will come from individuals um, it will come from groups and it will come from the government the governments in countries that we used to uh, view as civilized so what's the saying well heads up heads up because uh, we need to be a little bit careful we need to uh, be mindful about our surroundings and um, there is another thing I want to say there have been people in the comments on my videos who have uh, not many but I've I've uh, I've seen I've seen a couple people who have been writing that well you're a conspiracy theorist um, I don't see I don't see those comments very often anymore I wonder why maybe it's because I was right and uh, maybe it's because I was just applying some common sense and a little bit of his knowledge of of history to what was happening and what is happening around us and also I think that it's my responsibility to address this madness around us because first of all it's the right thing to do and secondly I do not want to look like when all, all of this madness is over because it will be sometime in the future and when we look back I do not want to be one of those people who <laughs> uh, look are going to look very stupid because uh, you know there are certain things now that are so so obvious and if, if you buy into the mainstream media narrative now and, and you think that's the truth you're being a little bit naive I hate to say that but it's it's uh, yeah okay uh, it, 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 I don't want to be one of those people in the future who, who are going to look very stupid so yeah just wanted to say that um, but yeah I think I think the violence is next I think governments using force um, in different ways to get what they want to fulfill the deals they have with big pharma I think that's next I think the fall I'm recording this at the 2nd of August I believe and I think this fall will be tough we need to stay strong and um, the winter will be testing us so I will say again as I said in my previous video um, stay strong and we will get through this but we have to stay strong 